All right. Today we're going to talk about um, or review contractionary monetary policy. So I think first thing that's important to know is that during contractionary monetary policy, we're going to use this policy to slow down the economy or usually to stop inflationary problems that uh, are present. So we'll put here that it's an economic situation used to control inflation. And these are all going to be Federal Reserve actions that are going to shrink the money supply. Contractionary policy means we're taking money out of the economy. So we have three tools. We can raise the required reserve ratio. We can increase the discount rate. Or we can sell bonds. And those are our three contractionary monetary policy tools. We're going to use those tools anytime the economy seems to have some inflation problems. And when we um, use those three tools, we're taking money away from banks, and we're going to decrease the money supply. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm going to take a look at our money market graph, because that's the first graph that's going to change based on us shrinking the money supply. So I'm going to shift the supply curve to the left. Remember, left is always less. And we can see on our graph, when we have less money available in the economy, then that is going to cause the interest rate in the economy to increase. And that is the main goal of contractionary monetary policy. We want to make sure that interest rates are going to go up. So for impact and interest rates, I'm going to say a decrease in the money supply equals an increase in the interest rate. And we can show that using our money market graph like we just did. Now, taking a look at impact on aggregate demand or, or short and aggregate supply, I need to know that that increase in interest rate is going to discourage businesses from borrowing and spending. So if we have less borrowing and spending, then that's going to cause the aggregate demand in our economy to decrease. So I see here in my graph, I have an inflationary gap. So this, that means that this economy is susceptible to inflationary problems. When we raise the interest rate, we will see that businesses and individuals will borrow and spend less. Okay? When that's happening, that lack of spending should decrease aggregate demand and direct this economy back to its potential. Okay? So we have a new AD. We can see that our price level in the economy would fall and our output should be back at full employment. So when I finish my chart, I'm going to say a decrease in price level and a decrease in output as a result of that contractionary monetary policy. And again, this is how we use monetary policy to stabilize an economy that is experiencing inflation.